You don't watch porn with your boss? I'm sorry, but... Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am astounded by the response that I've received to my Kim Porsche reactions. Thank you so much, anyone that has watched these videos, anyone that's a new subscriber because of this series, thank you so much. I am so happy to have you here whilst I am watching this amazing series. I'm only on episode three and I already love it. And from everyone's comments, I can tell that I am going to love every single episode even more than the last one so last episode i was really harsh on posh so we're gonna try and tone that down <laughs> i am so team kin though like team kin i'm gonna try and pay more attention i feel like i've been missing loads of things but i really struggle to read the subtitles and also look at what's going on but I'll do my best. And if I miss anything, please let me know because I want to get the full experience. Porsche is a bit of a dick. Right, okay, no. We're being kind to Porsche this episode, but Porsche is a bit of a dick. But I think he's I think he's a lovable dick. I mean they're both they're both dicks, aren't they? You can't be well he's not head, but like acting head of a mafia organization without being a bit of a dick. Because they've swapped bodyguards. So how is Kim going to get Porsche back? Does Kim want Porsche back? Does Porsche want Kim back? Yeah, this isn't fun, is it? You thought that you had it bad with Kim. Watch the fucking show. Oh, you're no fun, are you? <laughs> no. Yeah, I think that... I don't remember what his name is. Kin's brother? They're brothers, right? Oh my god, I'm so terrible. I should not be watching this show because I can't remember what's going on. I'm not going to pick up on any of the incredible little details that they put in. But Kin's brother is like... He seems like he he's great. He's fun. He can have a little bit of a laugh and then suddenly he'll fucking snap. So, I would be careful if I was you, Porsche. What is- what is Porsche? the fuck i don't have any words what the fuck what 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 the fuck was that pause you don't watch porn with your boss i'm sorry but that's just not okay imagine going into your workplace and being like I've got something great that we can watch. I've got a great video to show you. And then just bringing up some porn. The fuck? Okay, okay. I mean, every single time I'm like, I'm gonna be easy on someone. We're gonna be lenient. They do shit like this that I'm like, what is going on? I don't agree with his life decisions. I think that he should make better choices. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think showed this to your brother? It was obviously fucking Porsche. Oh my goodness. I mean, what would you, what would you rather have? B 
being put in situations where you could be shot at and are shot at or watching a TV series three times. Mm. Like, I know what I would choose. But I suppose I'm not going for a job as a bodyguard. Um, but I take being bored over being shot at. Maybe that's crazy of me. Don't trust him. Do not trust Porsche. Exactly. Exactly. Trust you, yeah. That's fucking funny. Yeah, because you're bored, Porsche. That's why it's necessary. I mean, to be fair, if anyone can get someone out of the house, it's Porsche. And I'm sure that you would have a fun time. He's a very fun guy. He's just completely irresponsible. Oh, what have you asked for, Porsche? Oh, God. To be fair, if you can do anything right, it is show someone a good time at a bar. So, I think we can trust you on that. But I don't think that we can trust you to actually keep him safe. Just an inkling. You're a terrible fucking bodyguard. Just putting that out there. Porsche is a terrible bodyguard. Because he's irresponsible. Watching series at home is more enjoyable. I agree. I don't think that this was a great idea, Porsche. <laughs> Ooh. Kim's not going to be happy about this. <laughs> oh, maybe he is going to be happy that you managed to get him out the house. Kin looked beautiful in that robe as well. Did Porsche know that he's into men? I don't I don't think that he knew. Did Kin do that just to well not make Porsche jealous? Because I don't think that Kin thinks that Porsche sees him in that way at all but did he do that to be like I have a man I don't know you know what I mean he's so extra I love it so much <laughs> yeah you're not there obviously because you're a terrible bodyguard <laughs> I mean, I agree with Kin. That suit is so fucking fire. Look at it. It's incredible. With the matching gloves. Oh my god, that is everything. See? See, this is what I was fucking saying last episode. Just apply yourself. You're not bad. You actually could be a really good bodyguard. You're just lazy, irresponsible, and didn't give a shit enough to try. You've actually put some effort in and oh my God, wow. You're actually good at it. No shit.
See? You're actually fucking good at it. Stop being a dick, though. You're fine. You ain't all that. We'll kill you. Yep. You have to get it. All of this is preparing you for life and death situations. <laughs> You would think that Porsche would feel for this guy, considering he's been in a very similar situation where he had like debt collectors come into his house, beating up his family, destroying his property. You would think that he would have some sympathy for the situation. Unless he's like, you got yourself in this mess. Oh, I think he does. You didn't need to be here, babes. Why have you put yourself in this situation if you feel so uncomfortable watching it? You didn't need to be here. I love Kin. I love Kin. Like, episode number one, I wasn't sure about Kin. I didn't dislike him, but it was like kind of neutral. I fucking love Kin. I can't believe that he just did that. He, sh I'm like getting emotional about it. Oh God. We're in episode three and I'm already getting emotional about these characters. Um, He saw that Porsche felt uncomfortable watching this. And he subtly took him out of that situation without it affecting his standing in front of this guy that he's beaten up. Anyway, different issue. Well done, Kin. That wasn't like, I loved that he just protected him like that. Oh, <gasps> he's gonna be such a protective boyfriend, isn't he? Oh, it's gonna be the best thing in the world. Okay. Unfortunately, Porsche, this is part of the job. See, he's been in that situation. Is he going to try and shoot him? <gasps> He's going to talk him down. Do you have a choice? This is where he excels, clearly. Kin did not just try and step in front of his own bodyguard. Fucking hell, Kin. How quickly have you caught feelings that you would try and take a bullet for Porsche? Ah, oh, I love Kin so much. I told you I could see that he was going to be protective. Are they going to have the classic patching you up, looking deeply into each other's eyes, BL scene? I fucking hope so. You've caught feelings. You're not okay that he got hurt. That can't be very good for a bodyguard, employer, 
relationship. Kin. Here, let me help you. <laughs> He's going to clean it for you. He's going to dress it. And you're going to stare lovingly into each other's eyes and fall in love with each other. You're going to have a moment. You better have a fucking moment. The moment. I think there's quite a few people who it could be. Yeah. It comes with the territory. There's an inside man. He does have a point. Is you. <laughs> Fair point. <sighs> I get that. He can't let his guard down because it literally could be anyone. Have we seen uh, Mr. Kim? Hmm. Is it Kim that wants Kim dead? Posh. What did he mean by a heartbroken song? Does he fancy Kin? Why does everyone want to be Kin's bodyguard? I mean, I love Kin. I love Kin. And I would love to be in Kin's presence. But it seems like the most dangerous one. Posh. <laughs> He's out and about now. It's the only place that you will leave the house to. <laughs> True. Kin. I don't think that Kin followed you here. I think he followed Porsche here. Uh, just an inkling. Yeah, bet you fucking do. I get the feeling that Kin doesn't normally do anything like this. Didn't realise that you were hiding that under that sweatshirt. Fucking hell. Okay, okay. Wow. No, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, actually, go for it, go for it. He's so fit. Fuck.
not me! This is quite exposed. I feel like maybe this isn't the safest thing to do considering he keeps getting shot at. You like him a lot. <laughs> oh. They died, right? Made someone else an orphan. And the cycle will just start all over again. Do you hate it too? No, I suppose you don't. The thing is, if Kin doesn't show this strength and doesn't do all of these things, doesn't present this picture of him being ruthless, and powerful their family enemies will take that as a weakness and would go after him even harder and kill him mm -hmm. twice <laughs> he's gonna try and shield you from it as much as he possibly can He cares about you. You can see it in the way that he looks at you. I don't think the Porsche's... Ooh. Porsche's kissing back. Porsche kissed him back. Right, predictions. It's fucking Kim. It's fucking Kim that's that's working against him. That's my prediction. Especially now that I've seen that Porsche's gonna get kidnapped next episode. And oh, who's just found out that Porsche's Kim's new bodyguard? Kim. It's fucking Kim and Big. Big is fucking working against them too because he hates Porsche. I bet you. That is my prediction. I can't believe that Porsche fucking kissed him back. Like I knew that Kin was in. I knew Kin was in deep because he's been so protective of him this episode. He saved his life twice now. Um, he almost took a fucking bullet for him. And if you see the way that he looks at him, oh, so cute. But I didn't think that Porsche was there. I knew that Porsche had like warmed to him a bit, especially after that conversation that they had, where he realised that Kin's not 100% comfortable with everything that he has to do. But he was born into this family and he feels like he doesn't have a choice. But Porsche kissed him back. I'm so intrigued to see if they actually start up a relationship next episode or if they're gonna be like, forget that this happened, we were both drunk. Oh God, I hope that doesn't happen. I feel like that's gonna happen. Porsche's gonna be like, oh, nothing happened. I don't remember what happened. If you enjoyed watching along with me, then please remember to give this video a like. I'll be uploading my reactions to Kim Porsche every single Friday, so please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of them. If you would like to follow me on social media, I am at Jaffa Takes on both Instagram and TikTok. 
thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time.